Hi everyone, MSQ is proud to announce our biggest project yet, String Quartet No. 5, Rosa Parks by Daniel Bernard Romain. In this presentation, we will be sharing with you the first movement, I Made Up My Mind Not to Move. Each of Romain's string quartets honor a figure from the American Civil Rights Movement. This one is dedicated to Rosa Parks. Romain states, I created this work as a musical portrait of Rosa Parks' struggle, survival, and legacy. The music is a direct reflection of a dignified resistance, it's telling that this work may, in fact, be performed on stages that didn't allow the presence of so many so often. I often refer to the stage as the last bastion of democracy, where all voices can and should be heard, where we are all equal, important, and necessary. Often called the mother of the civil rights movement, Rosa Parks invigorated the struggle for racial equality when she refused to give up her bus seat to a white man in Montgomery, Alabama in the year of 1955. Her arrest on December 1st launched the Montgomery bus boycott, which was led on by 17,000 black citizens. A Supreme Court ruling and declining revenues forced the city to desegregate the buses about 13 months later. Throughout this period, Rosa Parks was the secretary of the local NAACP and continued on in that role for about 12 years. A quote from Rosa Parks that I think really encapsulates what we are have been interpreting the first movement to represent is stand for something or you will fall for anything. Today's mighty oak is yesterday's nut that held its ground. The Italian term sol ponticello refers to a bow position where the bow is placed on or in the vicinity of the bridge and may be perceived as metallic or distorted when used in combination with various bow pressures. This technique represents the setting around parks, the bus, the city, and also represents the conversations erupting around her, the thoughts in her own mind, and overall in builds intensity. I knew someone had to take the first step and I made up my mind not to move. This is the quote that inspired the title of this first movement. This opening begins with a C pedal played throughout all the instruments, and this unrelenting C is significant because it represents Rosa Parks' obstinance. This opening sort of main theme is also in C minor, and it's interesting because it has an E natural in it, which makes it a rather unique scale. It doesn't fit any particular mode. This E natural causes an interesting dissonance in the music that is symbolic of Rosa Parks' decision to stay seated in a time where that wasn't allowed. While the entire quartet plays in unison, our collective aim was to have a heavy, stubborn, and laborious sound. <laughs> The next element we'd like to present to you is the element of displacement, or more commonly referred to as imitative voicing as a compositional technique. And this is where motives pass irregularly and displace the beat, and they enter at different uh, moments in the measure or even parts of the beat, often with the same motive. And because of that, it contributes to a chaotic texture, also creates dissonances across voices. And so here, what DBR did is use this technique to create almost a frantic heartbeat effect in this moment that I'm about to show you. And even if you were to try to tap along, it's really hard to find where the steady beat is with all of this going on and the different uh, voice crossing that happens. Permeating this movement is the four against three polyrhythm, or four notes being played over a three beat pulse. Four against three is an abrasive, disjunct, and clashing rhythm that resists following the norm. This is seen in the Sol Ponticello motive, gliding over the three beat pulse in defiance. This polyrhythm can be seen as both representative of Rosa Parks, standing up against the status quo, 
or in the excerpt we just heard as the quiet murmuring of the bewildered crowd on the bus, on looking. The use of the same motive in many different ways is representative of the symbolism movement. DVR articulates a variety of textures and colors with the four against three polyrhythm that paints all sides of this moment in history. And now we would like to present to you our full performance of this movement, and we'd like you to keep the following four words in mind. Displacement, dissonance, disjunction, and obstinance. These compositional techniques exemplify and characterize the Rosa Parks story and the bus scene. We invite you to reflect upon these techniques as they occur in the piece and identify the ones that we've shown to you today, and also listen for other examples where these te compositional techniques are used. Thank you and enjoy.